So, the class we are currently taking is Honors Algebra 2 slash Trigonometry. What's your name, It's a really fun class, and it's a lot easier than expected for an honors class. It's fast, and it's also fun. And very detailed. So, what we learn is about matrix, matrices, and... Logarithmic functions. And a lot of math. A lot of algebra. Mostly numbers. A lot of numbers. So, if you're good at math, relatively good, because, like I said, it's pretty easy. <coughs> Three. Hey, I'm Fernando. I'm Jonah. And in IB Math, we learn a wide variety of topics that will prepare us for future math classes, whether it be at Ahmad or college. And you should take this class because Mr. Pagosa is an awesome teacher and he's basically always here for tutoring and he's just really chill and you'll learn a lot in this class. Hello, yes. Cut. Why are you asking me if I'm ready? Are you ready, Peter? Okay, <laughs> start talking on my countdown. Can you shoot me? Uh, after I come down. Hi, I'm Julian Delagarza and I'm a senior. Hi, everyone. I'm William. I'm, I'm a senior. And uh, we're in AP Calculus. Um, so pretty much AP Calculus. Uh, it's a great class. Um, a, a unique thing about this class is that we do what's called a flip classroom. And pretty much you go home and instead of doing homework, you go home and watch a video, a lesson, and take notes about it. And when you come to class, instead of actually you know, doing the notes, which you already did, you come to class and you work in groups and uh, on your homework, quote unquote, and you know you can ask Ms. Morales, you can ask your classmates for help, and it's a really um, helpful and useful uh, thing to do. It's definitely helped me succeed in this class, and yeah, I mean, I, it's a great technique. And Ms. Morales is a, is a really good teacher. If you have any questions, you can always go to her. Um, she's always there after school, and then she's really uh, willing to help out. And um, in the class, she's really um, uh, she's really being a really good teacher, and then yeah. Yeah, she's definitely a wonderful teacher. She knows what she's talking about. And she just wants all her students to succeed. So definitely, you know, take this class and, you know, you'll have a great time. So take AP Calculus. Take AP Calculus. <laughs> all right. uh, I'm Michael Paulos. I'm a senior. And right now we're taking a AP Calculus BC. Uh, my name is Matthew Zahn. I'm also a senior uh, taking the same class as Mike. Uh, I think this class uh, is something you should take. Uh, not just because of the, the subject matter, but because our teacher, um, even though it's something that usually a lot of students would think is really tough, uh, she makes it as easy as possible. Uh, yeah, and it also helps, helps prepare you pretty well um, getting to college. This is what all your classes are going to be like, and it promotes like that critical thinking and helps you uh, to get that discipline that it takes to really bear down on your homework and studying uh, to make sure you do well. It's not just a class that you can kind of uh, wait till the break before to study for a quiz or a test because uh, that's a recipe for disaster. And I think one of the best parts about it too is that it's a flipped classroom so you actually get to do your homework in class and your homework is actually to watch video lessons so it makes it a lot easier, a lot easier to understand. Yeah and plus Miss Morales, uh, she's always available for tutoring whenever you need help. So I mean you just gotta go in and ask her and she'll be willing to help you with anything. You so take Calculus BC. Uh, hi, I'm Katsal. Uh, I'm Gio, mm -hmm. I'm Koa, and we're all seniors, and we're in AP Stats, and uh, basically... It's a, it's a fun class. Yeah, basically in AP Stats, uh, we learn about like standard deviation, we learn about uh, graphs, like the plot of whisker, uh, graph, and the bar graphs, and things like that, to get us ready for uh, college. Mr. Paul's a great teacher. Yeah, honestly, Mr. Paul's like one of my favorite teachers. He teaches us a lot. Like, uh, he really knows how to express his feelings towards us. Yeah, he's very passionate about the subject and is an AP course, so you get the college credits for it if you pass the test. At times it's like a bit challenging, but uh, I mean, he really helps us get through it. Yeah, I'm really, really grateful to have him. He's a cool teacher. Take AP stats. Yeah, take AP stats. It's fun. Um, I took this class because I like science and I heard a lot of good things about this class, so yeah. Um, we get a color a lot in the notebooks and Mrs. Fitz, like, she knows how to interpret like all our lectures into like our life. Um, what's very interesting about the class is that we get to do a lot of labs and at first they're very 
gross, but in the end, they're really fun and fun to do with people. Um, during our labs, we do different things. We have done dissections, such as um, a dissection on rats. Um, uh, what else? Um, cow eyes. The cow eyes and the brain. The brain. Sheep brain. And yeah, they're very fun and they're kind of gross, but as long as you're not squeamish, you'll have fun in this class. Yeah, overall this class is fun, and if you like coloring, this this is your class. So that's pretty much all we do. <laughs> and color. in the end, we are going to be dissecting a cat, and that will be also the final. That, yeah, that is. That is. So AB Physics is a college level phys physics class that covers many branches of physics like Newtonian mechanics, waves and optics, and electromagnetism. We also do a lot of fun labs where we test the theories that we learn about and put the formulas into action. So if you're thinking about joining or if you're thinking about a, a science class next year, you should really join AB Physics. It's a really fun way to learn about um, concepts in science spread across the entire fields of physics. So yeah, join to physics. Hi, we're in Mr. Legault's psychology class. Uh, he's a really cool teacher. And we learn a lot about the physical emotions and physical characteristics that help shape the culture, I guess. And yeah, Mr. Legault is a pretty cool teacher, and he teaches us through videos, which is pretty cool. Hey, I'm Fernando Gonzalez. And I'm Dylan Roberson, and we're both juniors in IB Biology. And uh, in IB Bio, we take a lot of notes about um, genetics, human health and physiology, uh, evolution, and all the basic types of biology. Yeah, and our teacher, Mr. Riggs, he's, he's a great biology teacher. He, he's always here to tutor, and he's drilling this stuff into our head, so he makes sure we remember it for future classes. Uh, take IB Bio. Hey, I'm Jonah Rodriguez, and I'm a senior in Dr. Carter's honors physics class. I'm Joseph Venegas, and I'm a junior in Dr. Carter's honors physics class. And I like honest physics because Dr. Carter is a, he's a great teacher and he's really smart and he's always there for tutoring if you need him. Or during lunch he could help you with a concept that you don't understand. Honors physics, it's a really awesome class. You're learning about all these different things like the speed of light and sound and wave refraction and all this crazy stuff you wouldn't believe. You'll enjoy it. So take honors physics. Go take honors physics. Okay, hi, my name is Marina Torres and I'm a junior. And I'm Nathan DeFiore and I'm a junior. And we take AP Biology. AP Biology is the study of life. Um, AP Biology, um, well, we, in class we learn everything from the beginning of life to the cell, from evolution, and also the environment and how it changes. Uh, normally we'll be taking notes or doing a lab. Sometimes we'll give us a handout notes where you just have to fill in the lines. Other times we have to write all the notes out. But usually he makes the notes pretty fun. Um, yeah, uh, we also participate in lots of labs also that are really cool and interesting. Mr. Nassar. Uh He's funny. He's, he, a, he's a really good teacher. He jokes around a lot. He tries really hard to make um, AP Biology the easiest, the easiest experience ever so we can succeed. Um, Definitely. Yeah, to any student that wants to get college credit or just have um, a good, like, time learning about different stuff you know, revolving around biology. Hi, I'm Connor Rivers. Hi, I'm Samantha Sleese. Uh, Michael Alvarez. We take marine biology and in marine, marine bio we learn about different species of fish and their habitats. It's a great class, it's a lot of fun and we have a really cool teacher. Uh, yeah, I'm Snoozian and she's great to work with. Uh, she makes the class good and fun. You should take marine biology. <laughs> oh, uh, hi. I took AP Euro because it's a great opportunity to get credit for college and um, I really enjoy history and I work hard so and I really like Miss Graff as the teacher. I took AP Euro for kind of the same reasons. I like history. I, I knew it was going to be a challenging class and there's a sense of camaraderie and I think that's really important especially having our first AP class as sophomores. Um, what, what we learn is European history from 1300s to almost present day, about present day, and then we cover everything, politics, economics, religion, and it, it, it's a really in-depth course, and it's February right now, but we're already getting prepared for the AP test, so it's challenging, but it's it's worth it, and it's a lot of fun for everyone in it. Okay, cut. 
Hi, I'm uh, Andrew Weber, and uh, I'm a senior. Hi, my name is Peter Nishimoto. I'm a senior as well. And we're talking about is criminal justice. And uh, this class is cool because uh, you get to learn about our justice system and uh, everything happens in the whole process. And uh, Mr. Canal is a really cool teacher. He uh, shows us a lot of video clips and uh, shows us different ways of learning and just taking notes all the time. So it's a cool class to take. And uh, if you have an open elective, it'd be a great class to uh, kind of like broaden your knowledge of uh, the justice system and like, how everything works in the U.S. The knowledge, here, the knowledge you uh, gain here, it's, it's very useful. You have a further insight into what goes on in the, in the criminal justice system because most people don't, are, uh, don't really know about it and it's something that a lot of people, in fact all people should have knowledge in. So uh, take criminal justice. Cool. Psychology is wonderful. Uh, our teacher, Mr. Lodolo, is great. He really engages the class for you and his students. Into the basis of the childhood development stage. Um, so it kind of mimics uh, the child development class, but in a way, there's differences and similarities. So later on in the chapter, we'll be able to view how the adolescence goes into adulthood and um, old age and then finally death. I think it is a great class. Um, one of the reasons is because you get a better understanding of how the brain works, so that could help you in other areas and other subjects. Uh, I'm Nathan Guzman, I'm a senior. I'm uh, Patrick Ford and I'm a senior. And this is AP Macroeconomics. The study of the economic system on a global scale and how it uh, relates to our everyday life and functions. On a regular class period, we usually uh, go over some worksheets, a lecture by Mr. Scott for the majority of the time. Um, Mr. Scott teaches AP Macroeconomics. He's a really good teacher. He knows how to uh, relate um, examples of our everyday life into the economy, and he gives us really good examples, and he's pretty funny too. I would personally recommend this class just because it gives you a good introduction into the economics, and economics is a part of you know uh, basic life. So having this class is a good fundamental introduction into the economic system and giving you basic knowledge to carry out for uh, everyday functions. Hi, I'm McKenna Cazares. I'm a senior. I'm Tatiana Ailey. I'm a senior. And we're taking honor psychology. Um, we have Miss Graff, and she is an amazing teacher. Uh, she's really brilliant. She knows a lot of information if you guys have taken her other courses. Um, it's a lot of info, and it's, it's honestly difficult, but it's a lot. It's, it's a really lot of, worth it. It's a lot of lectures, but it's very interesting. Yeah. It's a great class. I definitely don't regret taking this at all. Not at all. Take on her side. Take on her side. Okay. So the class we're taking is AP English Language. It's basically uh, advanced placement English, and we're pretty much learning about like nonfiction works, mm -hmm. and we're pretty much analyzing um, the author's. Uh, usage of diction and also the the way the different ways he conveys his message. Um, in AP English Language, you read 50 essays, and it's a book that um, composes many authors and their essays, and their satire, and you learn, and their sarcasm, and it's uh, it's basically your bible in this class. <laughs> and uh, pretty much we just discuss about like the different ways um, uh, and different I guess meanings of each and every single um, story in 50 mm -hmm. essays. And we pretty much just answer questions and we analyze discuss. and we discuss. We deeply discuss the questions. Um, Miss Golding is our teacher. She's a really good teacher. Um, we only read one novel in the class and mostly just nonfiction. I'm Nathan Valdez. I'm Jessica Herrera. And you should take AP English Literature because you got to read and analyze plays and poems. It's not that like it's hard, but it's just requires a lot of effort and it'll help you in college a lot because you will like some of the stuff that we read in class we're gonna read in college so it'll give you a head start definitely so you should take AP English literature you really should hey I'm Justin Przinski hi I'm Natalie and I'm, we're here to talk about the short story class uh, what it is is a class where we read short stories and we watch, sometimes we'll watch movies on the uh, story too and it's really cool because the class is fun and we do a lot of group work about it and it's really fun. Yeah, Mr. Lewis is a great teacher. He makes it 
very interesting. Yeah, it's it's really fun. You just, I mean, you do a lot of group work and class work, and it's really cool because Mr. Lewis is a great guy and he's a great yeah. teacher. So, take short story. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, boys and girls. Mr. Del Moro and myself are introducing a new course, Science in Literature. In this course, we'll be reading fiction and nonfiction from a variety of sources. And by taking a closer look at the science involved, we can interact with these texts in a whole new light. Some of the topics that we will cover include archaeology, dinosaurs, genetics, and evolution. We will also have class discussions on biotechnology and the spread of disease. We will be also talking about modern topics in science like stem cell research, dark matter in the universe, but most importantly, zombies. So if you want to be involved in some awesome storytelling with science mixed in, sign up for science and literature when you register for classes. Have a great day. Cut. And cut. Journalism is what, like, we write stories for the Lance.org the things that happen on campus and off campus? Um, we basically just cover stories that, like she said, that, that happen. So we'll do um, reviews, we'll edit photos, we'll edit stories, we'll basically try to spread the word and post it online on, our, on the last org. And we do like web pages and we like edit like pages online to like, so we can practice like if we want to be journalists like in real life. Um, Mr. Del Moro, he's also an English teacher here. He's very interesting, like the way like he teaches, like he gets really into it and he helps us out with everything. He's very knowledgeable. Yeah. Is I think that you should join journalism because it's a really fun class and like you get to meet like new people that want to do the things that you want to do. And it's a great way to get to know everybody on campus. Hi, my name is Elijah Montana. I'm a junior. And I'm Angelica Gallegos. I'm also a junior and we are taking IB English. HL to two year course, so both a junior and senior year. And we have our teacher, Mr. Del Murrow, and he's a really great teacher. He makes the class fun, so it's fun to learn and listen to his lectures and work all together. One thing that I've learned in uh, IBHL was uh, to become a better presenter. We do a lot of presentations, so be prepared. Be, be prepared to do 30 minute presentations and so on. Be prepared to a answer a lot of questions. We also do individual presentations along with group presentations, which is also very great to do. And there's a lot of individual writing as well. Um, like right now, we're currently writing an essay to look at like deeper symbolic meanings, and that's always great because it helps prepare us for life. And so take uh, IB English. IB English. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hi, I'm Chris Parmenter, I'm a senior and I'm taking Literature of Sport. I'm Andrew Eppenbach and I'm also a senior taking Literature of Sport. Um, in Literature of Sport with Mr. Dimmitt, we're, we talk about controversies in sports and read articles about them and discuss them. And we also read novels such as The Blind Side. Uh, I really encourage you to take Literature of Sport because Mr. Dimmitt is a, he's an awesome teacher and uh, he's a really good role model and he teaches you a lot about the the uh, subject and I just I just really I think we both really enjoy being in his class because he makes the class uh, really fun and educational so we really encourage you guys to take literature sport. Way to go Taylor. Hi I'm Giselle Sedona I'm a sophomore and um, I think art is a good way of fulfilling your requirements that you have to take in order to graduate and also it's just a fun way of getting to express yourself every day. Hi, I'm Chaz Ragon, I'm a sophomore, and um, I think art's uh, like really fun. Once in a while, I grab a pencil and draw. It's nice. Hi, I'm David Garcia. Uh, I think <laughs> art one right here. Uh, Ms. Joseph, she's a great teacher, and it's a, I think it's a fun class to interact with other students to draw and to see who could kind of compete, and it's just a fun way to interact with everyone. Hi, I'm Stephanie. I'm an R2. I'm Saxony. I'm also an R2. It's a really fun class because it's all about the expression, whereas R1 is about technique. Um, yeah, you really learn how to like develop your skills um, furthermore than you would in R1. Um, everybody's really nice. Um, Ms. Fortner really pushes you to like learn more and push yourself and like gives you different tasks. She gives you different tasks to like you know, you know, push yourself. 
just like a metamorphosis thing. We actually had to like make things change, and this is what I came up with. And this is my metamorphosis drawing. It's a guitar lin or a, a viatar. It's a guitar and a violin. If you didn't <laughs> notice. So yeah, you get take to do all kinds of fun stuff like this if you're an R two. Take so, the class. Take the class. Hello, I'm Josh Mercado. I'm a sophomore currently taking instruments class, which is being led by band instructor Mr. Polito. What you do first semester is you learn how to play like whatever instrument you want to learn, you learn to play music, and then towards the end there's a concert that you perform with the group. Come second semester you learn like music theory, how to interpret music, how to like hear music out, know the different notes, types of like sound articulation, etc. The class is year, year round, it's really fun. Mr. Cleo will work with you with whatever instrument you want to learn. And uh, yeah, thanks for Hey, what's up? Um, you should join beginning dance. It's really fun, like, you work on your footwork, if, say, you know, sports, and you get to really flexible, and make a lot of friends, and just have fun. Yeah, beginning dance is, like, a great class to take, because you meet a lot of good friends, like my friend Mark here, I didn't know him before this year, um, and especially it helps with sports, uh, making you more flexible, and it really helps you break out of your shell. If you have any insecurities, uh, they'll be gone by the time the class is done with. Take beginning dance. <laughs> um, it it's a group of people that just love music and each other, and it's just a great group of people. Um, we're like a family, you can depend on everyone, and it's just very cohesive. Um, first we stretch um, every practice just because you need to stretch to be relaxed. Um, and then we do breathing exercises so we can hold our notes longer and just help our support. And then we just do whatever we feel like that day just to warm up. Uh, AP Art History is pretty much the study of uh, art from all around the world since pretty much the, the beginning of, I guess, um, civilizations. Um, but we don't study just art, we study some culture, background, all that that pertains to the art. As well as religion, because religion ties into many uh, art as well. We usually just take notes, listen to our lectures, and just learn to appreciate the art. And uh, also on occasion we do uh, do some projects that pertain to some of the art that we're learning at the time. Just kind of get a hands-on feel for the art. But uh, it's unlike other art classes, it's not graded uh, based off your artistic <coughs> ability, more just on um, completing the assignment. So it's a fun way to kind of interact with what we're learning. Uh, Ms. Joseph teaches the class. Well, she likes to incorporate the art projects as Julian mentioned earlier. So it's a great way to actually get a hands-on experience on their culture when we're actually learning about them. Like, for example, we made Chinese lanterns when we were learning about Chinese art. Um, I, I personally think it's a great class. It's a great way to kind of learn about the art all around the world. And I especially like this because uh, I plan to travel when I'm older. And I feel like, you know, being able to apply some of the knowledge that I have to seeing some of these things in real life when I'm older, I think that'll be really beneficial and a really cool thing to be able to kind of like talk about with people of like that culture and whatnot. If you really want to succeed, you have to take notes and you have to listen to her. So, what is advanced band like? Uh, it's, it's a fun class. Uh, what you do is you learn uh, some music theory and uh, if you want to continue music, this is a class for you. And uh, so you're prepared for the, the rule of the music industry. And if you already play an instrument, this is definitely the class for you because it teaches you music theory while you're also performing your own instrument. And it helps you get better techniques and learn how to play better and be just a better overall musician. So basically, you just have to be able to like read music, play some sort of instrument, any instrument will do. And um, and that's that's about it. Just be able to and play not, an instrument. Not just one instrument, but you, they want you to ex to have like an expansion, so you have more variety, and, and it's it's good on the education part. Mr. Polito. Yeah. He's really good. Uh, uh, so far, from these four years that I've uh, been here, like I've learned a lot from him, and I think anybody who takes his class will definitely learn how to be solid in their, their uh, sight reading, which is just getting music for the first time and, and reading it within, you know, like maybe 10 minutes or so. What do you do in theater arts? Uh, we learn the history of theater, we learn like the position of the stage, we have games, um, 
We play charades, we play... What else we play? Fruit salad. We play the, the monkey, uh, fish, and mosquito. mosquito. That's okay. The teacher is uh, Miss Buster. She's one of the best teachers I've ever had. She's, she's really fun. She's a fun, loving teacher. She's the best teacher probably in campus. Um, well, she makes it like fun for us. Um, it was just like how to how to be like in a like our, she shows us the stages. Um, she teaches us like how to produce, how to be like a director, stage manager, how to act and perform in the plays. Yeah, she gives us like props. Like she assigns us uh, things like chiefs, like costumes, like all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is like my favorite class. I'm I actually switched from dance to this class and I'm happy I did it. I, honestly, I look forward to this class. Plus, it's a great teacher and it's fun. I, I really miss you. Yeah. Hi, I'm Amber Harris. I am a senior and I'm taking music appreciation. Hi, my name is Lacey Serrato. I'm a sophomore and I take music appreciation. Uh, in this class, uh, first semester really focuses on just the foundations of music, the notes, reading the staff, and things like that. You get to learn a lot in this class. Like, I learned about major chords and G clefs, which are musical terms that you will learn. Miss Isamaya, she's so amazing at how she teaches it. She makes it understandable for anyone. And being in band, it kind of gives me a different perspective on things. I wasn't used to playing instruments or any music, but I learned a lot because Miss Isamaya was like an incredible teacher. and you should take music appreciation because it's a good class. You should take music appreciation. Hi, I'm Annie Day. I'm Rosal Vermita. I'm a junior. Yeah, we're both juniors. And this is Kevin Shiri. Uh, the class is uh, an elective, obviously, and it's uh, the third year of Spanish. And um, even though it's not required, I recommend you take it because colleges look really Colleges look at it and it looks really good. Uh, they recommend three years and a foreign language, a consistent foreign language. And uh, even though it's a challenging class, it's really fun. You get to learn a lot about uh, different language and cultures. Um, our Spanish teacher is Ms. Blanco. She's very helpful and she makes, uh, she has a lot of things for us. It's mostly about cultural translation. And it's a lot of fun. And what we did was projects as well. This project we did was called Is Tangle, but we had to translate in Spanish. And so you can see that this is kind of what we do, and it's a lot of fun. And so I suggest that you should take Spanish. Ready in three. Hola, mi nombre es Luke. ¿Cómo están? Hola, el soy Eric Pinedo. ¿Qué tal? We're from the AP Spanish class. You know, Shell Señor Mito. Best teacher. Great okay. teacher. Best. You know, you know, you learn a lot. You know, you learn a lot about culture. You know, all Latin America, all, all you know, South America, all that. You know, a lot, a lot of Spain. You know, That's right. Spanish comes from there. Yeah. Yeah. Spain, Spanish, Spanish. Well, yeah. It's a great class. You know, it is a lot of work. It is. I mean, it that's, demands that's a lot. That's why it's AP. You know what I'm saying? It demands a lot, physically, mentally, and emotionally. Be prepared. Be ready. AP Spanish language. Yeah. Hi, I'm Flora Romero. And I'm Fabricio Meza. And we're gonna talk to you about why you should take French. So, um, in our French classes, we learn about the different cultures and about different um, francophone countries and how they relate to the French language. And in IB French, we go more into depth with French grammar and also French culture and francophone countries. But also, we practice our writing skills and oral skills. Um, with Ms. Bonville, she also gives us French literature, so that way you don't only get to practice writing it, um, but reading it too and comprehending it. So, yeah. Take French. Hola. Hola. Nosotros pensamos que la clase de español es muy divertido. Este, Miss Medina es una buena maestra. Es la educación que nos da es muy bueno. Digo, wait, perdón. So basically, she's trying to say the class is really fun and Miss Medina is really um, into the class and she will. She has like she'll work with you and tutor you and uh, she just she's really into it and her spirits are always high and she's always in a good mood most of the time. I mean sometimes she can have a bad mood. But for most of the time she, she she's really open to us and 
it it's helps all the time. Class too. I mean, you and it's educational. Helps for your electives. Um, besides, you get to learn another language. Helps for future reference. And it's pretty pretty easy if you pay attention to it. Hi, my name is Alexa, and I'm Eliana, and we take beginning office. Ms. Sway is our teacher. She's really great. Mostly we focus on Excel and the business world. We do a lot of projects about um, files, like we open up files and then we add new things to them. We add sum, we add product, we add, we multiply, we learn formulas, um, we add photos, we find information and we just add it into them. We also use a book to help us with our, with exercises and practicing all those formulas and, and um, do case studies. Like we did a recent one with car payment and how to use the deposit and down payment. What up guys, I'm Jeremy. I'm Jalvin. And we are taking advanced office. To take this class, it is a requirement to take beginning office first before going into this class. It's a really easy class. You find new and, and cool features about Word. Not only about Word, but also in Microsoft, Excel, and Access as well. Yeah, Ms. Way makes it really easy for you to like, all you, all you gotta do is just pay attention and you get, you get an A. Hi, I'm Jessica. And I'm Noelle. Um, we're currently taking a page design. Um, the teacher is Ms. Way. And um, what we're learning today is um, basically HTML code, so you can make like your own websites and just keep changing everything around. Um, you should really take web page design if you're interested in going into a career that has to do with um, like making websites and all that, because you'll learn the basics and you'll go to college prepared. And um, jobs also look at like what, what you're experienced in, at, like Microsoft Word, and basically this will actually help you like a lot for jobs. So take web page design if you're really interested in following a career that has to do with websites. Hey, my name is Matthew Zahn, I'm a senior. Joey Chavez, senior. Uh, and we're here to talk about world religions. Uh, I think you should take this class because in all your years here at Almont, you learn about the Catholic faith, uh, and this really gives you an opportunity to learn about religions all around the world. It's a really interesting class. You learn about just all the religions, Christianity, how it came about, and just all the different religions. Yeah, so definitely take world religions. Good class. Hi, I'm Brittany. I'm Cheyenne. And we take clothing one with Ms. Marquez. Um, I took clothing because I wanted to learn not only how to make my own clothes, but also do something as simple as sew a button on. It's something you can use every day for the rest of your life. It's a really fun class, so you should definitely sign up for this elective. Names. Names. I'm Brianna Felix, and I'm a senior. I'm Stephanie Gaxiola, and I'm a senior. And um, we take advanced clothing. Um, Ms. Marquez is a teacher. She's a really good teacher. She teaches you different techniques. Um, it's like a class for life. You learn all these new techniques and you can use them in the future and you can create so many new things that you never thought you could. You can use the techniques at home for sewing different types of clothing that you might want to wear. Um, and basically you just, you learn how to make like pajamas, like that's what we were working on, and skirts and other stuff. Yeah, and it's really fun. It's an easy class too. You should do. <laughs> My name is Dallas Garza. I'm a junior. My name is Ezra Alde Legatuada. I'm a junior. And this is Child Development One. Um, Child Development One is a course that takes you kind of on the process of being, um, or women on the process of being pregnant, and. Um, how their baby will grow in the first, like, I guess, year of their life. We do journal entries, and then we do classwork, and yeah. Um, I said I didn't choose the class. Um, she has a lot of in oh sorry, she has a lot of interactive <laughs> activities um, that she has with the whole class. It's fun because you get to learn about like how to take care of a baby and like prepare for it. My class is very interactive and you get to have the fake baby for like two weeks. <laughs> oh, hi, I'm Erica Soria, junior. Hi, I'm Brittany Saucedo and I'm a senior. Um, basically, child development two is where you learn um, how kids develop from ages one to five. Um, some of the projects that we've done this year um, 
we made toys and we're gonna make a cookbook for our kids. Um, while Miss Hannah teaches the class, and even though like she's a dean and she's kind of like mean, like she makes the class really fun and exciting. She's very like interactive with us. Like she's she just she's a really good teacher. Like just in general, so it's fun. Um, if you like babies, yeah, it's pretty fun. And like yeah, <laughs> like you get to bring like your nieces, your nephews, your brothers, your sisters, like to school. Do child development one before you can take child development two. Okay. You gotta deal with the fake baby before you get to deal with the real baby. Yeah. Okay. This new class is called Fashion Design Textiles and Apparel. In this class you learn about the aesthetic aspects of design necessary to create fashion sketches, designs, and custom apparel. You will investigate different topics such as elements and principles of design, color theory in fashion and textiles, the history of fashion and fashion trends, and the artistic nature of textiles and fabrics. Skills for remodeling and recycling clothing, garment alteration, and creating custom apparel and accessories will be taught. This course will give you a great start if you're interested in a career in the fabulous fashion industry. Hello, my name is Brian Centillion. And I'm Luke Maynard. And this is Consumer Economics and Personal Financing. This class is a semester course that covers basic economic concepts and practical aspects of applying them to daily living. Students will learn to budget for college, file taxes, shop wisely, understand your personal finances, do comparison shopping, and also make to and to make informed decisions about the products and goods that they purchase. Hi, my name is Maddie Iwanaga, and I've been on yearbook for three years. Hi, my name is Ariel Reed, and I've been on yearbook for two years. And, and we're your yearbook, yearbook editors. editors. Yearbook is truly a lot of fun. Being on yearbook is more than just being in a class. It's like being on a team. We work hard all year to provide you, the student body, with a creative yearbook. We capture candid memories every day here at Almont, and we work towards creating a memento that you will take with you after high school. Aside from the work aspect, we are a team striving to complete a goal, and we bond throughout the year by doing such. There are many different aspects to yearbook. The three most important aspects include photography, graphic design, and journalistic writing. Yearbook is not all in-class work. We do interviews and cover different athletic, academic, and student life events, such as rallies, pep week, and everyday activities. It is a lot of work, but it is rewarding in the end. It motivates us to know that we are creating something that will benefit the entire school at the end of the year. We use our creativity every day to think outside of the box. It can be challenging, but it pays off in the end. So to close this off, if you're interested in photography, journalism, graphic design, or just being part of the team, we highly encourage you to join your book. Thank you. Total? I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. <laughs>